this wine is another one in the series from wonderful winemaking family, the Ramey family, based in um, in Cabardes, to the northwest of Carcassonne in Languedoc. Um, it's in the northwest bit of Languedoc as well. And it's influenced in vineyard terms by both the Mediterranean and by the Atlantic Ocean. So the warmth of Mediterranean and the coolness of the Atlantic Ocean. And it is a, it's a lovely balancing kind of impact that it has on, on the vines that grow there. Um, this wine is called the Pariah. Yeah, and it's uh, the Pariah in question is the grape variety that they use for this wine, which is Grenache. Um, a lot of people in, in that part of the world kind of don't really know what to do with Grenache. Uh, certainly in Languedoc and Roussillon, different matter. Lots to do, exactly what to do there. But for some people, it doesn't ripen properly. Other people, it doesn't really grow in the right place and doesn't get the right flavours. But the Ramey family have seemed to have found uh, really, really great vineyard areas for, for their Grenache. And they make beautiful, beautiful wines. Um, Grenache typically needs to be quite ripe in order to have all of its full flavours. So that's, that is an important consideration. Um, uh, and ripeness often leads in Grenache, especially to quite high alcohols. This is 14%, but it never feels out of balance. And I think that's that has to be one of the key considerations. Well, for me anyway, it's, it's the factor is, is the wine balanced? And if it is, then you can go on to the next stage. If it's not, you just can't pass. Not balanced, not interested really. Um, so this is a beautiful wine. It does taste of plums, prunes, a little bit of fig. Doesn't really see any oak barrel use of any kind of aging impact. So it doesn't get much additional spice. But Grenache itself is a spicy kind of grape variety anyway. Uh, and it's lovely. It re really is. It's the If it tastes kind of similar to you, Grenache is the is the main grape variety in Chateau neuf du I mean, Syrah gives lots of elegance and class and black colour and lovely you know, complex flavours. But most of the Rhone Valley in the southern Rhone Valley is is full of Grenache. So you know, those famous villages, Chateauneuf and Vaqueras and Gigonas, those are those are Grenache dominant wines typically. Uh, here and the other end of the south of France, um, this wine, 100% Grenache, is absolutely beautiful. Um, and typically humorous name, the Pariah. It's not a Pariah at all. It's absolutely beautiful. And I really hope you like it. <laughs>